Psalm 85, it, the imagery is inspired by the American artists, uh, Grant Wood and other people that worked during that period that did uh, Scenes of America. But also it's inspired by the United Farm Workers and their work to, uh, in, of harvest. But it, uh, it all began with hearing the psalm read every year in the liturgy. And, uh, and the idea was so, it's so beautiful and has a poetry. And then I would, I try to make drawings. What, how would you make that so people could see it? It's such a wonderful passage. And I kept working with it and finally I developed it into this a kind of like a, a panorama or a great landscape with abundance and people working the land and people sharing. And I, and also I think of it in, there's a wonderful song called De Colores, All the Colors, and, it's, and it has that uh, feeling to it. I, I try to bring that to it. This work in, has a uh, personal meaning to me because as I was just finishing the work, my mom was dying, she was in the hospice, she had cancer, she was 92 though, and, uh, and she got to see it. When I finished it, I rushed over there to show it to her and she smiled and she was so, delighted that it had gotten finished. So that has a, uh, a meaning to me, but, but I think people like it a lot, especially people that have worked on the land and that know about uh, growing things. I started with very uh, small sketches of how I would create this, uh, use these, this beautiful poetry into the landscape. And this was a beginning of it. The sun I thought of as a, as a person almost. And then justice and peace shall kiss as two people approaching each other with hugs. Truth shall spring out of the earth would be this beautiful tree that's emerging. And kindness and truth shall meet our people as they meet each other and, and gracious. The sun being justice shall look down from the heavens. So then I developed it into, this is just a crayon painting or not a, it's just a, a, a drawing with um, um, a crayons and pastels just to get a rough, it's a rough, it was done in 1989. So it was just a study to see where, where I could go with this image. These are some of the colors. This was color 33. It just shows you I covered a lot of the area with that. Um, with this transparent uh, green. Um, actually, this wasn't a coated paper, so you're not getting all the reticulation that was in the, when it printed on a coated paper. And, th and this is uh, up with 48, 51. You can see how I kept working on br bringing those grasses, creating keep building the drawing so that the drawing would have a lot of um, dimension to it. Okay, and then this would have been with about um, 45 colors. Psalm 85, when it finished, it had 51 colors. You can see how I kept bringing the lettering with each drawing of color, with each color layering. It's an exaggerated landscape, but it, it brings the point of what I'm trying to bring out in the artwork. And, and I wanted a kind of a, um, a gradation and an undulation of the hills and the landscape. And then the sky line is kind of fantastic, but uh, in terms of, I don't know if we'd ever see that too much, but I, I, I imagine that there are times when there's been times where they've had that kind of color and brilliance. So one can look at all the, the different figures and just the hope that I, I get from the, the poem and, and this artwork.